morning everybody and welcome to a new week. I'm so excited to start today because there's a lot happening this week and I feel motivated and I feel pumped. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Last week was a little rough with the migraines and the just like hormonal downs. So I'm really, really looking forward to just a reset. Uh, and speaking of reset, I have a new brand collaboration I would like to announce and introduce you to. I have collaborated on this week's vlog with a brand called Magic Mind. And Magic Mind hit me up, told me about their product, and it tipped every single box. I'm going to update you throughout this video a little bit about the journey because this is my second one I'm about to take, but I have heard so many good things about matcha and as you guys know in my choice to quit drinking a year and some months in now at this point, I feel like, okay, I'm feeling good, but I want to feel amazing. <laughs> I want to feel great. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I kind of want to start thinking about what else am I putting into my body? How is it affecting me? How is it helping me with my day? Is it giving me acid reflux? Is it making me feel terrible? I want to just feel good. I'm on a journey of feeling really good. And so this was just the perfect alignment of brand collaborations. Thank you so much to Magic Mind for sending this to me to share with you guys. I'm gonna have coupon codes, I'm gonna have links below, I'm gonna have more information. It's gonna be a fun one. So stay tuned throughout this vlog for cool updates about how this is changing my week. If you guys already know me, you know that I'm a big coffee drinker. I leaned on coffee very, very hard when I quit drinking. I'm not giving up coffee. Don't get it twisted. No way ever. <laughs> well, I give up. well, I say that, you know, and I never say never, but I really wanted to change up my morning routine because I've started to feel not so great. First thing, I feel like the coffee, yes, it's delicious. Yes, it's great, but I feel a little bit shaky and jittery, first of all, because I'll usually have about two cups. And I don't, and it doesn't set well in my stomach. So I don't know if it's like doing the right things. I tend to get like acid reflux and just like not the best side effects of having coffee every day. I'm still gonna have coffee, but what I'm challenging myself to do this week is to change the routine. I don't want it to be the very first thing. And this is just a little shot of matcha. This has adaptogens, nootropics, and honey. And the nootropics is like the lion's mane mushrooms and things like that. And matcha, obviously, you guys all know, is a focusing L-theanine kelp drink. Ashwagandha and turmeric help decrease stress and decreases post-exercise inflammation. Nootropics, lion's mane mushrooms, blood flow, and cognition. This came at the most perfect time too because I'm on my way to Seattle. I spoke about it a couple of vlogs ago about how I had a possible new gig with a uh, online magazine for doing their makeup for all their models. I wanna feel my best. I have to go do a makeup demonstration on someone and I used to have to do those at all the makeup brands that I worked for. I would have to do a working interview where essentially you do makeup on a model in front of the staff. It's a little nerve wracking actually a lot and I usually am a hot mess usually but this isn't my first rodeo uh, so let's just go ahead and drink it first of all it's in the fridge and I'm gonna take one every morning with you guys and we're gonna just throughout the week talk about how this is making me feel if I notice a difference and um, after this working interview your girl's gonna get some coffee because <laughs> I can't not if you've ever had those green smoothies that come in or like those green drinks that come in those big bottles it tastes like that it just tastes like a green drink this is what is going to be my energy to get me to seattle you guys know i have anxiety driving so i'm hoping that this gives me the energy that i need to drive safely up to seattle with little anxiety hopefully none do this interview and then it's it's game on from there. We're having fun after that because all the stressful stuff is out of the way. 
I already saw the model. She's absolutely stunning. They sent a photo of her, so I had a kind of idea of like who I'm working with here. But yeah, let's get going. I'll show you. Actually, you know what? I should show you my outfit downstairs. So let's go do that. Here is the outfit. I feel a little bit like a superhero. <laughs> I feel like a superhero whenever I put these boots on. And you know what? Those Chloe boots that I got that are thigh high, I so wish I could be wearing those right now because that would look killer with this outfit. But I'm in denial, and I have been in denial, that there's no way I'd be able to go anywhere in them. I can put them on my feet and I can wear them and have them on for photos, but I cannot physically walk in them. They are a half size too small. I used to be a seven and a half. And then as I've gotten older, I've turned into pretty much an eight. It is what it is with designer labels. And I'm learning the lesson in a, the most difficult of way because I keep buying things that are non-returnable. So needless to say, there is a pair of seven and a half suede, gorgeous to die for, thigh high. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Chloe, one of my favorite designers, boots in my store for sale. These, which are fine, but they just look a little bit like, hello, I'm Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> like, do I look like I'm about to start fencing? A little bit, but they work. You know, they work. I'm so proud that everything that I have on, except for this harness, I've thrifted, which is always fun. I love wearing a head to toe thrifted outfit because it truly is representation of my store. In half a year, is it In a quarter mile, turn left onto Seneca Street. And we need to fully appreciate that accomplishment. Turn left onto Seneca Street. I am here. I made it. Uh, that was actually not too stressful which is wild because I actually thought I was gonna have a hard time with that drive. I haven't been up to Seattle in a hot minute. Um, and I've just had really like heightened anxiety lately. So I was like, this is gonna suck. <laughs> and it didn't at all actually, it was really, really, okay, so I think it, it was, a, a, I think it was two things. I think it was that shot for one, because it did help me stay focused when usually my mind is when I'm anxious is like racing all the time yeah I, like my mind was focused so I think that really helped me feel like I don't have time to think of anything else and then I also think the other thing that was helpful was that I was listening to a motivational podcast uh, usually I listen to true crime and I don't think going to stressful things and listening to stories about terrible things is probably the best for me. So I'm going to stop doing that. I've actually really dialed back my true crime intake altogether because right now I'm really focusing on the energy that I bring in and the things that I allow into my mind and into my my personal like space. And as much as I love a true crime story, not to say that I don't still listen to it, I'm just a little bit more aware, I guess you could say, of the whole like what I'm what I'm going to absorb especially before something important and I'm here 20 minutes early which is great so I still have to find the office and go to the bathroom so I'm just gonna go ahead and head in but yeah that was um great success that went so well it could not in my opinion have gone better such a chill atmosphere such cool people so nice um to just see how like big operations for catalog style modeling and photography works and such a different side of this from what the, I've been doing. So that was really cool. I'm starving. I'm eating some chickpea chips and they're really good. So I'm gonna eat this in a granola bar on the way home. And I'm just gonna head back cause I wanna beat traffic. So I'm gonna get going. <laughs> I am so excited to open this. 
why are you guys so close? Let's get into the boxes. And I need scissors. Which one do we want to do first? This had just arrived. And it's a Free People little camisole that has a built-in bralette. But it's a cute top. It's a kind of vanilla yellowy color and I love. And I actually got it because of something I ordered that I wanted to wear underneath it. So look at how beautifully packaged this is. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then everything is just so nicely folded and stickered in this box. Everything I got was in the sales section. I was on a sales section rampage. So if you want to see or shop any of this yourself, hit the sale. I got a Christmas present for the dogs. It's a bag of chips. <laughs> I just thought how cute. So it's just literally a squeaky toy. I thought these were gonna be, do they come off the chips? I don't wanna squeak it. Okay, it's just a crinkle bag of chips. Anyway, I just thought that was cute um, for my dogs to like carry a bag of chips around in their mouth. So that's gonna be a Christmas present. I'm already starting to slowly order little Christmas presents and stuff. Just little fun things for stockings and whatnot getting that kind of going. I mean, it is already November. Oh my God, that's crazy. When I sleep, like I have on what I normally would sleep in, which is silky shorts and a camisole top. I have to have shorts and a, and a top. I thought maybe I'll get myself a nice set of PJs that are a set kind of like what I have on, but they match. And I just thought this was so pretty. So it has these really cute lacy shorts. Oh, these are adorable. Look at how pretty. I love the print and color, this blue and pink and off white. It's just so dainty. It's really kind of sexy, but comfortable sexy for me. I can't do like restricting clothing. Next up is a really cool looking sweater that by a brand called Varley and it's this mustard yellow almost a bit sporty but has a zipper front neckline completely see-through so soft such a nice feel this is gonna fit great so yay I was really worried about everything like not fitting I love it and then finally, we have a pair of jeans. I've needed a new pair of jeans desperately. And these are by Good American, which is the Khloe Kardashian brand. And I've owned a pair of pants through her clothing line before, and I really liked them. And I actually think I still have them. I might be putting them up for sale in my store. I'm gonna try them on to see if they fit, but I don't think that they fit me anymore. They're a little snug, so these are like the 90s high-waisted with the cutout knee kind of mom jean. We got four pairs of midnight lashes, which are the ones that I like to wear and what I have on right now in the 14 millimeter from Lilac Street. So we just got a little re-up of lashes. And don't forget, I have a link. It's not a code, I have a link. It's a link under my name and the code is first order 10 or first 10. I have it below if you want a discount on your first order of the lashes that I wear because these are the seven to 10 day lashes. I was telling the girls about it at the appointment yesterday and they were like, what? Your, your lashes last how long? I was like, girl, get you some, get you some. They're just like, I didn't even know lashes like that existed. Everybody thinks you either gotta go really expensive and they have to be like, break the bank, getting them done every few months or every few however long you have to get your lashes done when you have lash extensions. I mean, they're great and they last longer, but if you don't have the time or the money to do that, this is a great option. And unfortunately, we can't open open this, but I can at least give you a little spoiler. I got an advent calendar. This is a Sephora advent calendar. It's supposed to be, it's weird, it's called 12 Surprises, Six days of two gifts per day very random but it's a between Christmas and New Year's gift so it's something that you can give people for Christmas that they can continue to open until New Year which I actually think is really smart and this is 
either discounted or just not that expensive. It was like 20 bucks for it. And I just got it because, yeah, see, it says a $25 retail value. Um, but it has just like little tiny minis of makeup and beauty stuff that would be fun to open together. So because it's 12 surprises, I'm going to just open this throughout. I think I can do two a week throughout leading up to Christmas. So I'm just going to treat it like an advent calendar and open this through Christmas with you guys. Because I always loved it when people do that. When like people are doing Vlogmas and they have advent calendars and they open up what they've gotten. I think it's fun. So I thought too, if you guys wanted, we can do it together. So if you wanted to order one of these and whenever you're watching my videos, we can open a box together. It'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? It'd be like a fun Christmas like connection <laughs> together to do so if you feel like it if you feel like buying the sephora it's called the wishing you and it's blue and it looks like that so if you feel like doing it with me we can every week we'll open up some advent calendar goodness together okay here is the free people cami that i was telling you guys about see how it's like square neckline which i think is a little risky if you have bigger boobs because they just like fall out <laughs> so I mean, it fits otherwise, which is frustrating. It's just my boobs. So that's why I think if I just wore a like bralette underneath it, um, that it would hold it all together a lot better. But I do like it and I love having this like stretchy, lacy kind of camisole material with the jeans, especially. Speaking of the jeans, I love them. Sorry if you could see streak marks on the mirror. I just cleaned it and it looks like it didn't dry the right way. Love, love, love the jeans. I like the crop at the bottom. I love the worn knees and their midi weight, midi length on the waist. So they're not high rise, but they're not low rise. I love that. Hello, welcome to the next day. I'm getting ready to leave. I must leave. I must leave now. I am going to go to the store. I'm going to set it up for uh, a makeup appointment that we have tomorrow. I did just want to say I took my uh, Magic Mind shot this morning again, and this will be my fourth day in a row of taking it. And I do totally feel focused, energized, ready to hit the ground running. I feel like I can remember my to-do lists a lot better which is miraculous. I'm so grateful they've reached out to me because this is definitely in alignment with my direction of where I'm going in my life. And I definitely believe in you are what you eat lately. It's been huge to me on like what you put into your body is what you're gonna get back. And so in my journey of sobriety, I've also become very self-aware of the foods that I eat. And I know I'm not perfect. I know I don't always eat well. I'll have a bowl of ice cream or french fries or whatever from time to time. But for the most part on a daily, I do try to eat consciously aware of what I'm what I'm putting in to my to my body because your the results that you get, the ailments that you have, the problems that you have, they're all connected to what you're eating. And it makes total sense. But it just is really clicking with me. You just feel good. You do. You just feel good. You feel like you're in a good place, that you've got the, all the energy that you need, you're positive, and you're ready to take on the world. Outfit of the day. Got on some jeans. Well, not some jeans. <laughs> we've got on the jeans. We've got on these lovely, good American, frickin' 90s crops. And I frickin' love them. I love them so much. The chalk markers just look so much better for writing. So I made a few signs. This one's really good. This one goes out into the hallway so people can see what I offer at the store. That is my handwriting, you guys. Yes, I know. I get a lot of compliments on my handwriting. <laughs> Tooting my own horn here. And then I made a sign for the berets. All of this, all sales final. The little signs for the tees, the price tags for the candles. I just like the look of the pen much better, but I can still wipe it away because sometimes prices change or product changes. So I really like having these interchangeable little um, chalkboard things to write on. And then this too, looks so much better. 
so much better. It was really, the chalk just really messy looking. So love that. I have a little Beauty Studio Close sign because people are forever trying to come up here and I get it. They want to know what the stairs are for. And this one's in the window over here. And this has all of my services. So when people walk by, they can see the services I offer and how to book me. That should clear up confusion when I'm not around. Adorable tester jar. So that will be great. That there is a full brush belt. All right, station is set up. I've got it labeled now as the actual sanitation station, so there's no confusion there. We are going to prep the skin with some facial toner. This is the Brightening Facial Toner, toner by West Coast Willow, as well as the Calm Skin Facial Oil. And then we are going to prep the lips with the Organic Lip Balm by Slate Apothecary and use the Pure Inata Mascara. So I'm using four products that are for sale in the store and then the rest will be part of my makeup kit. The foundation I use is the Pure, my favorite go-to, and all of my eyeshadows and stuff are clean and ready to go. Pencils are done and all of my brushes are clean. So yay, the area is ready to take the appointment. Hello everybody and welcome to the next day. I'm just getting ready to leave. We're about to go do some makeup for a client who's got a military ball to go to tonight. We're doing a glam makeup look. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it's great. I've been having a great week. It's been really positive. It's been really motivational. I'm gonna stop describing it, but you guys, if you wanna try it yourself, I have the links below and I have a code. It is Sienna20 for you to get 20% off your purchase of magic mind just follow the link and it'll take you straight there put that code in and you're good to go and see if you can uh, get the same results that i did and if you do oh my god please tell me <laughs> i want to know all about it i want to know if you try it for yourself and get the results that i'm getting I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, but I just want to know everyone's experience with it as well. So let me know if you do, but I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. It's been amazing. Um, but yeah, I got to get going. So I'm going to go throw on some shoes and grab my lunch and we're going to hit the road, go do some makeup. It's going to be a fun day. That went so good. The results, I cannot be more pleased with because all I ever want anyone to say is like I love it but she said I can't believe this is me I can't believe this is my face I haven't looked like this since my wedding and I was like yay so stoked on that look at this mess I made yeah but if you guys are curious of like what my makeup station looks like after I've done makeup this is it it's a mess. I did a little prep with her skin because she was a little red and had a little um like little bit of a breakout so I used some of the brightening facial toner first just to like clean the surface of her skin and then because of the redness I thought the calm skin would be really nice this has jojoba and chamomile and rosemary and lavender oil in it so it's going to calm the skin down so hopefully over time as she's wearing this today it'll kind of make any inflammation just kind of you know settle down um, and then we did some priming with the Smashbox primer. I primed her lips with the Slate Apothecary Lip Balm. This is actually, I just like scooped it off the top. So I'm going to keep that there as like my go-to prep for the lip. We went with a kind of reddish color and I just scooped a little bit of this out and put it in one of these. And then with a little bag, I gave her a couple of doe foots so that she can touch up her lipstick later and she didn't have to go buy a whole new lipstick. This little heater, oh my gosh, that thing really heat up the space. Like we were so cozy.
Good morning, everybody. It is the final day of this week's vlog, and it's a sunny one, and I'm not mad at it. I've gotten my fill of rain. <laughs> oh, have I, and it's okay. I'll accept this sun for today. <laughs> what a glorious morning. Makes me sick. A hundred percent my vibe. Um, but what's up? As you can see, I've pulled my bangs out of my face and I'm hoping that I don't get a migraine by the end of the day. I have trained my bangs to sit in a certain position for many years, many. So for them to be pulled back tight like this is doing wonders for lifting my <laughs> corners of my eye a little bit. You guys know I love a little pony snatch, but yeah, it's, it's usually it comes with a cost the end of the day is going to suck. Did this, see, blue, I've been into like metallic swoops on my eye. I don't know what triggered that, but I just started doing it and I loved it the first time. I was like, ooh, I did it with gold and then I did it again with silver and now I'm doing it with this like teal blue. It's cool. And here's the outfit. I've been wearing all black again, mainly because this week I had two work gigs that required me to wear professional black. It does look cool, because the main thing I was excited about was putting on socks with my Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> because I refuse to not wear my fancy shoes all winter long. So I'm gonna do a socks thing and I like it. I mean, it just looks like you can't really tell that I'm not wearing a boot, but if you look closely, you realize, oh my gosh, are those socks with kitten heels? <laughs> All right, had a few customers come in. Had somebody buy the black shawl, which I'm really sad to see go because when the brown one left, I missed it. <laughs> so now both of my cape shawls have sold. I need to take them off of all of my online stores. They're fab, but I'm so glad somebody got it and she's gonna <sighs> love it. <sighs> Burr. It's like, autumn outside oh god my hands are freezing thanks so much for following me along this week it's been a really fun one especially with the whole like new addition to my routine now which is the magic mind and um i'm just really like kind of mind blown with the product itself just how well it works and what it does and how it's good for you and all of that like something that's got a result that that good seems like how can that be good for you because everything that I love is so bad for you like ice cream and cake <laughs> but no it's actually really good and the results are amazing with the like new tropics and the adaptogens the matcha like all the various benefits to give you energy but not give you anxiety and to make you feel focused. Like it's just so cool and it really does do all those things. So I'm just not gonna keep going on a tangent about it but I mean, that's kind of what I agreed to do. <laughs> I agreed to try it and tell, tell you guys how I liked it but I just didn't, I had no idea that I would like it as much as I do. So if you guys wanna try it yourself, don't forget links and codes are below in the description box please do um, subscribe if you're not and give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. I actually would really like thumbs ups on this video specifically just because I'm going to be doing work. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> They're going to try pulling in forward. <laughs> you can't do that there, bud. Well, I wanted to get out of that spot. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the really sweet comments that I was getting on um, a couple of my videos ago. You guys some of you just don't usually comment but we're saying just the nicest things and the reason why i keep doing youtube is that there's people like you guys watching so thank you so much i gotta focus on the road i'll see you guys sometime next week bye